Okay, so over the past few months, I have spent so much time with the iPhone 14 Pro, and I've been super happy with it. I still think the Dynamic Island is incredibly fun, the 120Hz display is beautiful, the processor is crazy fast, and the battery life is solid. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about the thing that has been driving me mad with the 14 Pro, and that's the camera system. Listen, since this phone came out, and in my initial review, the one thing I just felt has been off is the new camera setup. I mean, initially my complaints were more that the 48 megapixel sensor and the processing didn't seem to really match well with each other, to the point where photos were either too bright or too dark in some situations and just felt more patchy than previous iPhones. And I was like, okay, new sensor, maybe it'll take some time for the algorithms and things to build up. Most photos to this day still turn out fantastic on the 14 Pro. But there was something else that I couldn't put into words then because I didn't know what it was. And since then, I figured it out. There's something up with the main lens this year. Something about the lens is physically different. Because you know you have three, you've got the telephoto, the ultra wide, which is crazy, and then the standard wide angle, the one you use the most. And after using this wide lens for months, I noticed one thing time and time again. If I was just pulling out my phone and taking a photo of something moderately close in front of me, I'd look back at it later, because I do a lot of run and gun shooting, and it would be blurry. It wouldn't be clear. It was almost like it wasn't in focus. So I started paying closer attention to what was happening. And I do this and immediately I notice, oh, that's weird. My watch is out of focus. Let's tap to focus, but it won't. Um, obviously, if you're a camera person, you're like, dude, you're too close. That's why it's not focusing. I figured that out pretty quickly and realized that a lot of the time I had to scoot back a bit, like a, a couple inches, which is weird. I'm like, I don't normally have to do that with an iPhone on the main lens. Like I'm not on the 2X telephoto, 3X Zoom, this is a standard 1x, so that's weird because now it's not the framing that I want. So I have two options to get the framing that I want, right? Number one is going to that new 2x option right there, or 3x as well, if I want to be crazy, or get even closer for that framing and do 0.5, but like my, my legs are there, they look super weird. It's the same process every time where I'm, okay, too close, got to scoot back, and then I can take the photo, but it's usually not the framing that I want of the subject. And I'm like, huh. I don't remember doing this on older iPhones. I guess I just never realized I did this until I went back and I got my iPhone 13 Pro and I noticed something really wild. I noticed that I didn't have to do that ritual on the 13 Pro, that I could be just a couple of inches away from my watch or what's in front of me and it would focus fine every single time to the point where is somebody that shoots video, right? This is being shot on a DSLR with a big lens. It reminded me of something that I've run into when shooting normal videos for my YouTube channel. That sometimes if I was, you know, holding my phone up to my camera, it wouldn't focus. You see how it's just a little bit blurry and if I get closer, it gets even worse. It just can't focus. I was like, wait a second. Is there a change to the minimum focus distance on the iPhone lens? Because, fun fact, every lens has this thing called minimum focus distance. And all that means is it's the minimum distance a lens has to be away from whatever you're shooting. For example, like I showed you just right here, it looks like the minimum focus distance is right about there, which is approximately two, three inches from the lens. So I looked it up. I searched if anybody else was noticing this on the iPhone 14 Pro, and sure enough, they did. I found this great technical analysis of the 14 Pro versus 13 Pro's camera from the folks over at Halide. And sure enough, there's this section right in the middle here that says they noticed that the minimum focus distance had changed. It turns out the minimum focus distance on the main lens changed from 150 millimeters on the iPhone 13 Pro to 200 millimeters on the iPhone 14 Pro, which is a jump from 5.9 to 7.8 inches, almost a two inch increase or a 30 plus percent jump generation over generation on how close you can be to something with the main camera, which is a massive change. That's a step increase in minimum focus distance of a couple of extra inches and sure enough I went and tested this and it was pretty much there on the mark. I set up this box of masks and I got close to it with the iPhone 13 Pro recording a video and the 14 Pro and you can see it right here it is almost exactly two inches further away the 14 Pro has to be than the 13 Pro. Okay but why does any of this matter? Why does you having to move your phone back two inches matter? Why have I made a video pretty much entirely dedicated to that? 
it's because it's been driving me up the wall, dude. I've been using iPhones for over a decade and I don't ever remember a change in the focus like this. Maybe it was a smaller, a few millimeters, half inch, quarter inch, maybe even a full inch, but damn near two inches is something I am noticing now every day and I cannot unnotice it. Probably the most annoying thing is that by default, the cameras just auto switch between macro and standard when you get too close to something, which sounds like a good idea, but it's just really confusing. And a lot of people online have said, hey, I got my new iPhone 14 Pro, why is the camera so glitchy? Now you can fix the constant switching by going over to settings, camera, and then turning on macro control, which gives you the option when to switch, but a lot of people won't even go that far and will just be confused why they can't take pictures on their new phone like they could on their old phone. It's just a weird issue. But that's the thing, this isn't an issue, this is a feature. This is an engineering decision that Apple made. They know the minimum focus distance changed, and again, there's a reason for it. Um, we assume, at least, Apple hasn't really said why the minimum focus changed. Maybe it has to do with the 48 megapixel sensor, maybe the lens itself is higher quality, resulting in nicer photos. Whatever the reason was, can we go back? It doesn't ruin the phone. I'm not switching back to the 13 Pro. I'm not returning this device. It's just that I hope it gets fixed next year because I'm tired of always, always be scooting. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.